Excellencies, honorable ministers, mayor of Stockholm, Stockholm Water Prize laureates and award winners, distinguished guests, dear friends. I am honored in my capacity as incoming executive director of CIVI to welcome all of you to the World Water Week 2012 in Stockholm. As a previous participant, I have been impressed by the organization and the richness of the World Water Weeks. And my vision and wish is that this 22nd week will maintain the status as the annual global water meeting for reviewing achievements, staying up to date on current affairs, and for shaping the policies of the future. Every year, I have seen how ideas, conversations, and solutions that emanate from the World Water Weeks receive increased attention in international policy and practice, in science, and in media. This means that we together have managed to put water high on the international agenda. Allow me to consider this development as our shared measure of success. However, none of this will be possible without the commitment of every one of you here today, today in this room. Thank you all for being here today and for your continued trust and bringing all your views, perspectives and ideas that this forum is founded upon. I would particularly like to thank the advisory committee, the scientific program committee, and the prize juries. Your continued engagement is the backbone of the success of the World Water Week. I would also like to call you thank those who finance our activities, the City of Stockholm, the Swedish International Development Corporation Agency, SIDA, and the government of Sweden, who have been our supporters from the very beginning along with the founding companies of the Stockholm Water Prize. In this context, I would also like to name the week's Gould sponsors, AGT International, Elsevier, and PepsiCo, our silver sponsors, Nestlé and Rumble, and our bronze sponsors, Fundación FEMSA and Sueco. Also, my warm thanks go to the organizations and the companies that support the Stockholm Water Prize the Stockholm Junior Water Prize, and the Stockholm Industry Water Award. Dear participants, this year we are focusing on water and food security. Water and food are intrinsically linked together. We humans consume enormous amounts of water through the food we eat. Let me give you some examples to better understand the amount of water that goes into our daily meals. To produce a hamburger, we need some thousand liters of water. The morning coffee you may have this morning would equal more than 150 liters of water. With the importance of water for our food production, one may assume that we really will go to great lengths to ensure that it's not lost or wasted. However, the situation is quite the opposite. The water efficiency in most of our food production could be increased dramatically not just in cases like when pedo rice is grown in hot climate areas or in developing drought-resistant crops. And even more disturbing, up to half of the food we eat and produce has never been eat, has never, sorry, up to half of the food that we have produced is never eaten. It is simply lost or wasted between the field and the fork. And this in the world where almost one billion people are starving and two billion people are undernourished. This is something that we urgently need to address by changing our attitudes and actions towards water and food production. There's a great scope for future well-being for all inhabitants on our planet. We must show that we have progressed since the days when Adam Smith stated that nothing is more useful than water. And yet we accord this resource with almost no value. As an economist by training, I'm delighted to welcome the 10th annual meeting of the International Water Resources Economics Consortium as part of this World Water Week. Now, we are just three years short of 2015, the end point of the current Millennium Development Goals. We now have a great opportunity to influence the contents of the new Sustainable Development Goals to come as was decided by the Rio Plus 20 conference earlier this summer. Here I believe that water, by itself, and with its close links to food security, will and should be a key component 
in the setup of the new truly global goals. With common efforts, I'm sure that we will be successful in pushing that agenda. Now, CV's vision will continue to be a water-wise world. Over the next five years, we will focus on five core themes. First, the water, food, energy nexus, climate change adaptation, transboundary water management, water governance, and fifth, water economics. Our mission is to generate and promote knowledge, solutions, and tools leading to water-wise decisions for sustainable development. We plan on achieving so by continuing to provide advice, to build capacity, to mobilize and connect actors, and to influence decision makers. Before I leave the stage to our next distinguished speaker, Minister Gunilla Karlsson, still my current boss, I would like to express a special welcome to this year's recipient of the Stockholm Water Prize, the International Water Management Institute. You will inspire us throughout the week with your solution-based outlook on managing water and land resources. Let me also once again express a warm welcome to all earlier laureates and award winners present here today. We feel encouraged by your continued support and commitment. Finally, I hope all of you will take time to join the different social events we are arranging and enjoy strolling around our beautiful city. And the weather service have promised us sunshine tonight. We have a fantastic week ahead of us. The importance and opportunities to contribute to a water and food secure world is as great as ever. Thank you.